Good afternoon and welcome to Lucky EDF TV at Fully's Art Fair. The sun is shining, the time is four or five on Sunday. This is the news. Ai Weiwei is world's most powerful man. Earlier this year, fair like Chinese artist Ai Weiwei was arrested for tax evasion, imprisoned in a secret dungeon, and only released after dozens of outspoken dissidents bought the blood red free Ai Weiwei tote bags at the opening of the Venice Biennale. Now, Art Review have named him number one in their 2011 Power 100. Mark Rappel, editor of Art Review, last seen topless stage diving at their party, has explained utterly convincingly that the choice of I was not political. However, evil Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Lu Wei Main has complained a selection that is based purely on a political bias and perspective has violated the objectives of the magazine. And as Anglo Chinese tensions escalate out of all control, another opium war is on the cards. The world's most powerful man is angry. Mark Rappot continues, Ai Weiwei is pushing art beyond the museum and gallery world and exploring the ways it can engage with real life. And in a bold act of defiance and style, Ai has art directed the next cover of W Fashion magazine through Skype with a fashion shoot that the New York Times describes as reminiscent of photos Mr. Ai took of the Tompkins Square riots in the 1980s. Chinese supermodel Sui Hei is shown captured, handcuffed and hooded on the street by two menacing figures and taken to a grim institution where they watch her shower. It's powerful stuff, just like last year's art issue cover by Barbara Kruger and Kim Kardashian, but which one's sexier, sweet Ai Weiwei or Kim Kardashian to at Lucky PDF? Collar Quack Girl, spotted, Gwen Stefani and Dasha Zakova having fun at Freeze. Gwen was carrying some sort of odd phone, not a Blackberry or an iPhone, while Dasha potted along with her adorable pet duck. Ah. Bird Cruelty. Over at Max Wiglund Gallery, in FOS's evocatively titled Nothing Disappears, Only Our Amnesia Arises, a visibly distressed minor bird shot on a wide-eyed Tara Palmer Tompkinson's face. Here's the close-up, now... Freeze's next top model. Our favourite models from Freeze 2011 are party girl Natalia Vodianova, wonder bra babe Ever Hurt Segova, society sweetheart Jade Parfit, and super yummy mummy Elle McPherson. Next up... Eddie and Jesse are naked. South London fashion artist Eddie Peake and contemporary Adonis Jesse Wine show off their bums. Who's hotter? Tweet Eddie or Jesse to at Lucky PDF. Hashtag incredibly masculine. Post internet art orgy. Nick Cosmos, Raphael Rosendahl, and Carson Chan go dutty at top nice. Top nice. Hennessy and Kanye are missing. Lucky PDF presenters Hennessy Youngman and Kanye West are missing from Freeze Art Fair. The art collecting fashion rapper Yeezy skipped this year's fair in a show of solidarity with the Occupy Wall Street protesters. We went to New York to ask him what's up. And he's just here to stand with the people. He's not the politics of it. Doesn't want to make a statement. Didn't want to do any media at all, actually. But he's here, and so I guess there's almost no way around it. He's here, and... He's here in support of people. As an artist, he feels he's autistic people, and he feels what they're, what they're doing. And he knows, he understands this idea about getting the money. Meltdown. Our most dreamy area of freeze is frames, only for galleries that have operated for, quote, less than six years, like five years. We were shocked when our very first Facebook chat informant told us about two London galleries that are too old. So, Bishop Vice first exhibited on 30th June 2005, well over six years ago. Yo, I think everyone should act like Kanye and silently occupy Bishop Vice until the end of freeze. Go there now, occupy it, that's Soul R25. And it's just in hot Berlin super artist Nick Cosmos getting sexy with a uh, major curator of a British institution. This was outside FS, FFS last night. Come back later for more information. And on that bombshell, I'm Dean Kissick, and that is the news. Our super dreamy music is by Dion and Deptford Gerhard. Go cockpit. Goodbye, freeze. Bye, freeze.